And well, funny because I've also prepared a song. In your just kidding. How do I follow Derek and Sean? So I don't got the bars. And made of honor speeches, man. The examples on YouTube most talk about how they first met, how they kept in touch over the years, why they hang out. But I'm not twice. I had to hang out with Jame as her younger sister. And here are two stories of how Jame tormented me as my physically older but otherwise younger sister. You all know. I know. You. People think I'm 48. But. The first story I called giant cutlery. I was four. Jim called me into her room. There she was sitting, cross-legged on the ground, big plate in front of her, giant fork, giant knife. And the second I made sense of what the heck I was looking at, I'm going to eat you! She was so jolly, it was terrifying. So I've always wanted to ask you, why did you do that to me? I, I, don't, I don't know. All right, the second story of torment is called Scab Collection. I'll spare you the details on that one. The point of that is, Jane collected a lot of weird things in her room. See, we grew up in a traditional San Francisco house where the luckiest, youngest child, me, has to walk through other bedrooms to get to the rest of the house. Jane was so kind to put a giant armchair in front of my door and her entire floor was covered. But maybe I'm being too mean. She did leave me generously two open footholds. So this was me every day. Open my door, hit the armchair, make my way through the crevice, find two footholds, and get to the bathroom. But that whole dance I just did was often a fruitless effort because Jane would be occupying the bathroom for hours doing who knows what. And some people do know what, it involves a hairdryer. I'm aware that sounds dirty, but she used it as a heater, so get your mind clean. All right, but that's enough about torment. We'll wrap that up, because at the same time Jane tormented me, I do owe a lot to her for how she's shaped me as a person and how she supported me no matter what to get things done. For one, she made me enjoy doing homework. How? She would sit across from me for hours. I'm talking like up to five hours. So as I completed assignments diligently, she would eat prawns. Okay? And this is my productivity tip for all of you. Sometimes you just need someone sitting across from you, staring blankly into the distance, piling up sea creature carcasses to really understand things. You know, like the Treaty of Versailles or the Pythagorean Theorem. So that's the tip for all of you. <laughs> yes, but another thing that Jane has done for me is show me or teach me what creative thinking is, like how to think beyond. I always knew I had a good idea when I'd bring it to Jane and she would do this. You all know she's expressive, she would like to do this. That meant the idea was good. And my school projects were the best because of her. We made spice maps, board games, a Great Wall of China made of clay. It was a lot of fun, some of my fondest memories. So fun, creative, amusing, weird, <laughs> odd, supportive, all of those adjectives describe Jame. Potentially uh, an interesting recipe and hard to find a match for, but when AJ and Jame finally met, I was like, okay, there is someone for everyone in this universe. <laughs> Because when I would roll my eyes at Jame for not knowing where to put the detergent in the laundry machine, AJ would smile at her and say, you're adorable. <laughs> and when Jame buys more clothes, AJ builds a shelf. And when Jame buys even more clothes, AJ builds another shelf. And when Jane buys even more clothes, they will move the TV to make space for another shelf. <laughs> it's true. But AJ is not an enabler, though. Because when Jane buys even more clothes, he motivates her to start a store to sell the clothes she no longer wears. And he challenges her every day 
to act on the things that she wants to see happen in her life. I genuinely love these two together. They make each other better, period. And Jane, you definitely found your match in Odd. <laughs> Amusing, creative, supportive, and especially kindness. And AJ, we're very happy and thankful to have you contractually part of the family now. But come on, you're already part of the family already. So congratulations, and please everyone join me for one more cheers to the bride and groom. <laughs> Beautiful, beautiful ladies and gentlemen, one more time, please give it up for our maid of honor, Miss Tracy Chen. Beautiful.